What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we are doing episodes 277 to 285 because 279 to 283 are fillers, so we're skipping a little bit in there and there. I am very excited, very nervous. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut versions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below. Uh, come over to the Twitch. We are watching all these live. It is a vibe. Come on over. Check out the social medias, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's not waste any more time. Hop right into today's episodes. All right, here we go. This is 277. So that was one of the five elders on the transponder snail right there. Can we have an actual conversation about this a little bit, please? I don't word it like that. I mean, there's a valid point to that, but it's a valid rebuttal as well. Also valid rebuttal. It is a little idealistic. Ooh, look at the oh it's been a minute since i've seen them are we saying the government wiped out the ancients 800 years ago or like when the blank mm. it wouldn't make much more sense why they're trying to hush hush get rid of everything it's uh a grand kingdom Ooh. obsessively been erased i need to know so much more unbreakable stones anticipating the attack and the eradication i love what he's saying because there's got to be a lot of truth and veracity behind it but you're saying this to the people who's talking about them technically they're not going to listen to you they're not going to like that there's no shot there's no way just off rip I only knew him for like two episodes, but so this is when the Buster Call officially get. Bro, this is horrible. Oh my God! For the government to say that is crazy. Sen Goku entrusted it to a, a Spandine. Ten battleships is so just OD for this. The Tree of Knowledge. Yeah, this whole place is about to be razed to the ground. Man, I feel bad. They're doing it in a very efficient way. How to fight fires, you know. Shout out these people. Shout out the O'Harns. Bring Robin or Olvia? Yeah, they're taking Olvia. Especially as a little kid, like this would leave the ultimate scar, tra trauma on you, you know? I get why she's so adamant in the present time against the Buster Call right now. And I guess because she doesn't even know her. She doesn't remember her face. Olvia specifically is doing this to avoid having there be a connection between them, you know? And of course, Olvia feels bad. She had bigger ambitions, but she technically did abandon her daughter, you know? And Robin did go through hell while she was alone.
and Aunt Roji. I will, mm, I will beat some Aunt Roji ass. It's so sad to say, but it's so sad. That's horrible, but like you know, it's hurting her more than anyone. Yeah, I completely get it. It's I know. <laughs> she knows. She knows that's her mom, but it's like, why would you not acknowledge him, you know? Oh, Ovia's breaking. She's wanted just parents' love for as long as she can remember. And that was her. That was her driving ambition. Oh, that's so sad. That's horrible. As is with just the music in the back, we won't even get to hear the cannon fire. Oh my god. So that's just the story they went with because they're knowledge seekers that got out of hand. They're now devils of Ohara. It's horrible. Mm. She just wants to hold her hand. She just literally wants some love. Can't even imagine how that would feel as a child. That's all. I'm, I get why he feels guilty and assigns blame to himself, but she was going to try to do it anyway, you know? Yeah, she just wants to be with her mom, you know? She's so smart. Oh, last moment of I'm proud of you. That's nice. That's very touching. He just drifted ashore. It is literally a twist of fate. Yeah. What is she gonna do? I'm nervous. She finally had... She's not lying. Even if a heart is obliterated, you cannot. You young ones will live in, you know? Makes me think of Might Guy and just, just planting the seeds for the next generation. So I love when characters are like that, you know? What is she gonna do? Big shout out Saul, too. Definitely going out of his way, risking a lot. He was about to sail off. From only hearing Robin now when the president wants to die, it's just so sad hearing her mom's, like, I assume last wish, you know? Just live on. Live your life. I see, Saul. Look at that boy Kuzon Aokiji. The deserter? Vice Admiral Saul? He was like a decent guy, decent giant. Wow, and that's what originally led them to Ohara, right? Look at Sengoku. So he was one of the first ones to get told that they're about to do that. 
He deserted after knowing all this? I was a real one. Standing up to your superior, I respect it. And then they were able to have a heart to heart. He was able to convince him. And so that's why they were going so fast in order to go to Ohara. I love that. As we cut back now. Oh, such. Okay, he is a giant. He's a he's like a he's not a warrior like an uh like one of the warrior villages, but he'll get if you make him mad, he's still a giant. I'll just protect my friend. I love it. You don't know right or wrong. That's what I'm saying. He's a nice guy, but if you make an enemy out of him, it's up for you. Oh my god. God, bro, he's like Tom with that strength. <laughs> that boy Saul's got the guns. Damn it, man. That's. I feel so bad. Oh my God! Imagine playing cornhole with a fucking navy ship. drop them to the lake oh yeah water log is a lot easier to deal with than being burned bro yeah i just can't see saul making it out of this and it makes me so mad one of the coolest guys we've met so far you, you i don't want to leave saul but you do have to go this is this whole area is getting demolished. Oh my god. I can't like knock I can't blame or knock Robin at all. She's a struggling kid who's like it's this horrible situation, man. What was your mom's wish to live? Yes. Like, like, what are we doing here? I'm saying, whoever that guy is, respect. I mean, she can't get out on the evac ship now. Where does she go? Don't play such a badass song with an Aokiji. Don't piss me off. He is a gangster. Oh, he's so gangster. I gotta start calling him Kuzan now. Can't call him Aokiji anymore. Shout out Zeke Jaeger. With the fire reflecting in the shades. That's kind of hard. So, Kuzan's not one to question the justice or the, the world government at all. Mm. That's the, the ultimate fact right there. Is that the evacuation ship? Oh, that's horrible. I gotta go back during editing and get that guy's name because he's gotta get these hands now. He's gotta get his ass whooped for that one. There's no way.
I love seeing his powers, but I hate seeing his powers because they're always against the people I love. Yeah, this is it, bro. People like Olvia, Clover, Saul, you meet them for only a couple episodes, they leave such an impression, you know? Oh. You're alone now, which is just her biggest fear. So sad. And she's, she's never really had friends on this island. Even her immediate family outside of her mom. I love that. Shout out the Straw Hats. Shout out Luffy. Yes, please run, Robin. Laugh like this. <laughs> Don't start hitting him with the dress, she, man. Oh. I only knew you for a couple episodes, Saul, but you were an absolute legend, man. I'm gonna be hitting the Duresha Shi for the rest of my life. In your honor. How thoughtless humans are. If that's not the truth of it. When we get to Marine 4, just know I am on the pirate side wholeheartedly. Oh. From the seed salt. I love the talk of the next generation being, you know. Maybe Kuzan's a little more of a gray character than I thought. He did get mad at the other vice admiral for blowing up the evac ship. That's fire. That's fire. I don't know how to feel about him, man. See, he's making that very clear. Oh. I still don't fuck with him, but I gotta give him props for that one. Like I said, we only knew Saul and Clover for a couple episodes and all of you, but there's some real ones, man. I better hear Robin hit a Duresha She. <laughs> that is sad. You gotta force your way through it. Ooh, that is sad, man. I mean, I get why she's like this in the future, you know? It literally is like the only thing keeping her going. She's crying. It's stories like this that get me excited for like a rewatch of One Piece. And when I first meet Robin, it's going to all like connect in Alabasta and all. Jesus, the show's done well. Any evidence he has, that goat just eats it. Loki does fire. He's like a little shredder. Robin's been 79, not 89. He's been on the run alone since then. Who planned the world? Ohara? Just shows how twisted the government is, you know? That is horrible. That is horrible. Oh my god? That's fucking demented, bro. So even good people, like... Uh, oh, 79 million berries is a lot, bro. This is, I mean, it makes sense why she's so cynical and pessimistic in the world. Like, this is horrible. I mean, it would make sense why she would want to die so much, you know, but her mom's last wish was for her to, it's so sad. I'm 16. Is this, so this is what she's saying where she betrays every organization she's a part. That's Crocodile. He finally joined Baroque. God, it's crazy seeing him again. Oh my god, that's a throwback. I miss Crocodile. Oh my god. Yeah. Yep. 
fully on Robin's side. Not a singular doubt. And of course, it's Spandine to the and Spandum. It makes so much more sense why she's going this. She wants you guys to say, oh, it hits so much harder. I have a huge, yeah, no matter where I go, this is going to be my life for the rest of my life. Just like the other good-natured people she knows. Yeah. That's the one thing she hasn't realized, though. I get it. I get it. Oh, and it's just so I love how she's on such an opposite end of the spectrum from all of the straw hats. Like this, like Luffy will go against the entire government for you. Like he doesn't. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. There's just no way after a thousand episodes of the show, I'm just not going to be absolutely just in love with all these characters. Hey. I mean. Last time we saw a flag hanging up that we wanted down, we tore it down. Shout out Drum. I now understand. Yep. That flag is the symbol of the enemy that hurt my friend. And so King, without hesitation. Kabuto! Ooh, god damn! That's... Bro. Oh my god, shout out Soga King! That was beautifully done. Just to show you our resolve, Robin. And I love how it's Luffy that told us, like, Luffy and Usopp still technically aren't on the best of terms. I love that. It's the declaration of war. <laughs> Anytime there's an anime and there's a declaration of war, it's always fucking insane. I love it. I love these straw hats to death. Especially after Ovia and Saul and everything like that, man. Huge shout out to Luffy and the Straw Hats. After being told that just an uncountable amount of times in her life, you know. With the music in the background, come on. God damn it. I love. Oh. I love these motherfuckers. We all need some real friends like some straw hats in our life. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Please. That makes me so happy. That's all Luffy needed to hear, too. It's us versus the government. We don't give a fuck. With the music. Everyone's ready, man. God damn it. <laughs> I'm like Frankie. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. <laughs> I'm so much like Frankie, it's not even funny. If you know One Piece, you know this is my favorite non-opening song. Now that we officially got the green light, CP9, time to catch some hands. They did it, drawbridge going down. Shout out Mozu and Kiwi. Shout out everyone. Shout out Frankie fam. The Yagras, the Gali La, Oimo Kashi. <laughs> he's ready, he's ready. Yeah, if you think we're letting you trench mortar us, you're crazy. Shout out, shout out Polly. <laughs> And Zombie. Are we separating them? I thought they were one entity. Oh, 
Okay. They're so annoying for that one. That's so annoying. Baskerville. We got Baskerville. Is that enough? That's not far enough for us to be able to, like, are we jumping or? Gonna take Robin with him. Alright, you said the same thing about Bluno, but it's all good. I'm, I'm just so curious who's gonna get the 1v1s. I want Kaku and Zoro, Luchi and Luffy, Frankie. I don't know who I want Frankie to fight. I want him to get a good one. Yeah, that's the blueprints. Where was he soaring them the whole time? In his ass? Pause? They're the real deal. I do. I'll rip them. Burn them. Do whatever. Oh, they're like, oh, that's a ship ship. They're like, that's a ship. You just need to defend the pages. Makes sense. Cyborg, it's the ultimate compartment. Left butt cheek. I cannot wait till Frankie joins the fam. Cutty fam. Good. Good. This is what he was told. The wish of this weapon's architect. Yeah, that's the last thing we want. I like that response, though. Okay, what's he gonna do? I'm loving where he's going with this. What's he gonna do? Set him on fire. Wow. I love how he's thinking of Tom and hmm. I'm hoping after this arc we can also go back to see Iceberg and Robin and Iceberg and have like a little reconciliation. So I I mean theoretically I wonder if he does remember him. I don't doubt we'd want to make it later on, but that's overall the best case scenario, I would say. Blueprints, bye bye. But even idiots like Spandam can't bring them back if they want to. Yeah, fuck your five year mission. What is this song? I like it. Fully agree. Fully agree. This is Frankie's theme? I made a bet on there. He took a gamble. He took a chance. Zomba, he finally gets to see Frankie Fam is here. Oh, I'm so happy. Mozu, Kiwi, Sodom, Gamora. Come on. I love when people do shit like this. It gets me all emotional. It's like Robin's friends. Come on. That's what I'm saying. Come on. That's big bro Aniki. That's big bro Frankie. Come on. I love it. I love it. Maybe that's one of the benefits of reacting in the morning. I'm just I'm super emotional. God damn it. What's loot? You're a welcome addition. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, my boy Luffy's gonna have to catch him. There's just no shot we're letting Frankie fall like this. Into the never-ending abyss. Because Loki might be good. We can just bring him to our side, hopefully. Okay, Rocket Man. Let's not give... Let's not forget to give Kokoro... Uh, fucking one of the MVPs. Chimney, Gombe, all of them, bro. I'm loving them so much. They're gonna jump off the half ramp and we're gonna jump onto the train at the same time? How are we gonna do this? <laughs> Luffy's like, oh, this granny's crazy. <laughs> Here we go. He's taking the whole game with him. As we're going to save one of Tom's workers right here. Come on. <laughs> the second time Rocket Man has been flying. Oh my god. Just just incredible. Perfectly timed. They're like, "Bro, these motherfuckers are crazy." Come on. The act of building a ship is not bad. Inherently evil. I'm the man who's going to be king of the pirates. Ooh, I love when people compare Roger and Luffy. He's helping this pirate kid, yup. I love that. I fully believe that, too. Oh, man, this shit gets me tearing up again. Shout out, Tom. I love this song too, man. Oh my god, thank the lord I got one more. Oh, these episodes are too damn good. Alright, last episode of the session. Rocket Man is launching in. Oh. Now CB9 and get some fights on their hands. I'm down. Luchi's gonna be Spandam's protector. He has it. What is that? A, hold on, hold on. Is that a elephant with a sword sword fruit? No, that I don't think that makes sense. Is that real? Can a sword eat a fruit? That's Loki fire. I love the hilt. How it has the two husks, uh, tusks on it. Yes, I must give a huge thank you to everyone who's sacrificed and put in work for us to get to this spot. Yeah, they are low-key crackheads for that, but I love them. Come on, they're fine. Yeah. Got a little nosebleed, but it happens. Because they, they got all the plot armor they need. Oh, I love that. I love that. Uh-oh. First fight, Fukuro? Cha-papa. I'm excited. Let's see prism cuffs. We need that. We need that. Robin's one of the strongest we know. I mean, yeah, that key is essential. 
Okay, shave. What do you mean by that? Well, we're just gonna have to knock out all the CP9 and take all the keys. Right, baby moonwalk. So we're gonna separate into 1v1s. Let everyone run off and let's send, keep one here. Okay. Luffy is very impatient. We know this. That's what I said. Luffy and Luchi, as long as I get that. So Luffy's gonna solo go after Luchi and Robin. Meanwhile, okay, I love this. Come on, I love this. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, secret. How are you not nervous ever, Chimney? They're so funny as a combo. Right? Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Is that Spandam and Luchi coming down? That's Spandam. No mistake in that laugh. You guys are crackheads, but I love you. I'm saying I need Chimney's energy in life. I need to bottle that. I pray one day I have a Chimney mentality. Not afraid of anything. Are you going to finally show us how to get in the gates of justice? Oh, real deal secret tunnel. Oh, this place is a maze on some Scooby-Doo shit. Yeah, he's going to be running in one door out the next. I like the music that's playing. Luffy, Luffy, Luffy. Luchi, I think, notices them. Not as if they're not they're being inconspicuous or anything. So even though the gates of justice are ginormous, is this the miniature version of which it's actually like eligible to go through, you know? That would make sense. Seems very heavily fortified. It's the only reason I assume that. Needs a refuel. Yeah, get some cola. His ducktail is a little flaccid. Are we gonna have to deal with Fukuro before we fill up? We got one bottle left. Funny how your nickname is Silent Fukuro, yet you have the biggest mouth and blab the most. Oh no. Anytime I hear music or like the style of traditional Japanese music, I always think of Naruto. Like Ultimate in a Storm specifically. You! You! That is hilarious. Shout out, Soga King. Oh, Jabra? What sort of area is this? This is fire. Like a sanctuary. This could be. This could be a Soga King clutch moment. Sanji's gonna go against maybe Khalifa? No, he doesn't fight women. I don't know. Alright. You are mighty beautiful, Khalifa. I'm so upset. 
Yeah, so like an Earl. Maybe a little chamomile, you know what I'm saying? This is the fight I want. Come on. Come on. Alright. Next session is going to be amazing. I'm so excited. Can't look at any previews. That's crazy how we don't have endings of the episodes anymore. No more endings. That's crazy. Shout out One Piece. Oh, absolutely fantastic episodes. I was heartbroken after and so like understanding of robin after everything and then it hits so hard when she says she wants to live after, that was to me if you've seen haiku that was like the suki tsukashima moment in season whatever season three yes yeah, so you guys know exactly what that was so cathartic it felt so good after just nothing but horrendously sadness and i gotta give a huge shout out to clover huge shout out to olvia olvia nico and a huge shout out to Saul d jaguar like and I guess I have to give a small shout out to Kuzan Aokiji because I'm just so I mean yeah that is crazy he was much more of a gray character than I initially thought in that moment and then I want to know the name of the other vice admiral who blew up the evac ship that's insane I'm sure there's a reason they said his name and they're hiding his face I'm sure we'll get that overall fantastic but in typical one piece fashion horrible backstory and then for us to now have the resolve we declared war against the world's government we're going it's gonna be sanji khalifa Fukuro, and uh i don't know why i'm blanking right now it's gonna be jabra and usopp soga king i just can't wait for the luchi and luffy one i want to see gear three i know he kind of teased it and i want to see spandom get mm, there's, there's actually i have a list of like seven or eight things i really want to see happen before this arc is done and i think i don't know timing wise episode wise but i think I think there's still like 20 episodes of any's lobby left i don't like fully know i need to have my numbers down like that but overall fantastic session fantastic episodes a great backstory hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe check out that patreon early access full length uncuts all that jazz don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad 